Malta in February 1945, the main issue was security and how the great powers, the U.S., Britain, the Soviet Union, China, and later France, could protect their own interests. The principal agency of that concern was the Security Council and the right of the great powers to veto enforcement actions and even discussion of certain matters. At the conference, debates were heated over admission of disputed states, the role of small nations, colonies and territories held in trust, and the responsibilities of the Secretary General and the General Assembly. But in the end, the United Nations reflected great power consensus. That would change over the years, but that would come as a result of Cold War conflict and the enormous growth in the number of members. At the University of Richmond School of Professional and Continuing Studies, this is Dan Roberts. Dan Roberts' new book, Master American History in One Minute a Day, a bite-sized romp through 500 years of American history, is available everywhere books are sold. A Moment in Time with Dan Roberts is produced at the University of Richmond with the cooperation of WCVE Public Radio. Our theme music is composed by B.J. Lederman. Our sound engineer is Robert Richards. Transcripts, podcasts, audio, and video are available at amomentintime.com. Eight fifty four Tuesday morning here on KSJE. It's time for our Adopt a Pet Tuesday segment. That's when I get to speak with Amber Francisco from the Farmington Regional Animal Shelter. She is joining us on the phone live this morning. Amber, good morning. Good morning, Chuck. Thank you for being with us, and uh, let's talk about some of the pets that are available for uh, for adoption this week. There are um, three on the list, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. Yes, there are. There are three amazing dogs that are just looking for the. Perfect family. Okay. Well, let's talk about them, beginning with um, Rudy Rue, and who's all dressed up yes. for Valentine's Day. <laughs> he is. He, he is a, a hunk, and he's looking for his sweetheart of a Valentine to come adopt him. Um, as I talk, he's laying in the corner of my office on his bed. <laughs> I, call, I call him Rudy Rue. He is, I mean, he's got that mean, tough look, but he is just a big love bug um, who just loves to lounge around and... He sleeps. He's been hanging out here in the office for the last few days. Um, just as sweet as can be, gentle as can be, and just he needs a he needs a home. He needs a home where he can have a couch to relax on. Right. Well, and he's a good sport too, because anybody with a, you put that that headdress on him <laughs> and not chew it up uh, immediately um, yep. is a good sport. So. Yes. <laughs> he's a oh my, he's he's a good guy. Very much so. Well, that's Rudy, and uh, he's available this week at the animal shelter. As is Casey. Tell us about Casey. Casey is a funky, playful one-year-old mixed breed. She's got um, lots of personality, lots of um, energy. She can be a little bit shy at first when you, you first meet her, but it doesn't take much, and then you've got a friend for life. Um, she loves to play with other dogs, so she would do great in a home with another active dog and playful dog, um, but she is ready to go home. you just got to come down and meet her and see her smile and her personality, and you'll want to take her home. Okay, very good. That is Casey, everybody. And last but certainly not least, it's Zoe. Zoe is a stunning two-year-old shepherd mix. She's got the you know pointy little ears. She's very... Very relaxed, very, very sweet, um, loving. Um, just she would prefer to be the only dog in the home because she, she, you know, she wants all the attention um, for herself. But she's a great dog. Will make a great walking partner for anybody. You just got to come down and meet her, Casey or Rudy, and find a perfect match for your for your family, for your household, and take somebody home. Very good. All right. Well, that's Zoe and Casey and Rudy available this week. Just three, but you have more animals at the shelter that we don't have time to show this morning, correct? Not just these three. Absolutely. We've got we've got some. We're starting to get um, cats and kittens in. It's the, the beginning of kitten season, so we've got starting to get some more in. Um, but these are just a small segment of the dogs we have. So if you're looking for somebody and these three don't you know catch your eye go on to pettango.com and take a look and then give us a call to set up an appointment to come down and meet somebody all right very good you're still doing visits by appointment and so that number to call if folks want to come down and meet any one of these dogs or cats yep just call 505-599-1098 to set up an appointment to come down and meet somebody and we'll help you 
pick out the perfect match for your family. All right. Very good. Well, Amber, thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. And uh, thanks for introducing us to these great animals. Thank you, Scott. You have a wonderful week. All right. I will. You too. That is Amber Francisco, everyone, from the Farmington Regional Animal Shelter, my guest here on our Adopt-A-Pet Tuesday segment on KSJE farmington and thank you for joining me this morning everybody i appreciate you being with me every morning here a little after eight o'clock on the scott micklin morning program whether you join us by radio uh streaming on the internet at ksje.com or you are one of our visual radio viewers who are watching the video stream to facebook twitter and youtube we appreciate your support very very much have a great tuesday everyone i'll be back with you tomorrow morning a little after eight o'clock right here on ksje Moving with the Arts presents